Hello and welcome everyone to another eventright.com TV show. Steven and myself, we've been coaching mentoring inventors for the last 15 years. Check out eventright.com to learn more about that. Steven, what's the topic? You know what's really great? We're doing these videos one after another and Andrew changes his shirt that seemed like we've done them in a different day. But no, we really haven't. So there you go. <laughs> My, my video just got all blurry too. Let me just fix you that. Look, Andrew, you look good. All right, you guys. Hmm. I want to talk about reaching out to a company. A lot of people are using LinkedIn to reach out to companies. We've talked about this before, how cold calling is dead. It's not really dead. But reaching out to companies on LinkedIn, which is really a professional you know, business to business or whatever site, it's a great way of reaching out to people in any, anything that you do. But you need to reach out to them in the right way. And Andrew, the reason why I'm mentioning this is that I get people that try to reach out to me, and if they're reaching out to me this way, they're making a huge mistake. <laughs> what, how are they reaching out to well, you? Well, first of all, they send me a, a, a long page. I mean, it's, it's not quite a book. It's like a short novel, maybe. It's so. It's. <laughs> I, I get them too, and I'm like, oh my god. You know what it is, and and if you're going to do that, at least space it so it's easy to read. It just goes. <laughs> it's so much, so <laughs> overwhelming when you first see it. You're kind of stunned that someone wants you. First of all, they don't know you. No small talk. Get right to the point, and they start to pitch you on who they are, why they're reaching out to me, how they invented this idea, and then they have a link. And it's, it's almost, Andrew, it's almost to the point where I don't even know you. And we haven't even started having a relationship yet. And you've already asked me to invest all this time and energy when you, you, you're going too fast. Slow it down a little. You guys, just slow it down a little bit. And, and don't use all caps. Andrew. Oh, my God. What's the deal with the all caps? Um, I, I don't know. When I see all caps, I think a crazy person. When I think there's no paragraph breaks to make it easier to read, I see a crazy person. I mean, all caps. I mean, these are things all, you don't. All caps when there's no paragraphs. I, it's like someone. It's like someone just was is yelling at me. <laughs> Maybe they're yelling at me to read this. I don't know. It, 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 I think you're going to say it looks like they just threw up the email. It's just like they just started speaking and just and they just say, and that's your email. Here you go. You can read this. No, thank you. I, I don't really. You're wasting my time. Even I've seen this on um, people that reach out to me on social media, maybe Facebook, but I see it on LinkedIn too. Take it a little slower, you guys. Get to know someone. Tell them you're a product developer. You want to. Um, you want to. How do you? What is the process? Who's the right person to speak with? Uh, maybe say maybe a little bit about yourself, just a little bit, but very very little. But do it do it as a professional, professional to professional, right? Don't don't ask too much from somebody, and don't ask someone to be your partner when you don't even know them yet. Andrew, how, how many of those do we get? We see those all the time. We get a lot of those. We get a yeah, lot. We of want those. to. I want to be yeah. your partner. I, I don't even know yeah. you. I've never talked to you on the phone, and. So it's kind of crazy. So I'm just saying to everybody, if you're going to use LinkedIn, a social media site, to, to reach out to me or to Andrew or anybody else in the world, just do it, do it in such a way that's very friendly, very professional. Don't say too much. Definitely don't put a link that you want, you want someone to you know, click on it to go someplace else because that's a red flag. right? And I can imagine if you're doing it to me, what, what would a company look like, Andrew, if they were sending it to, I don't know, Hasbro or... Or some or some Black and Decker, which is a bad example, but some other company. They're going to look at this and they're never going to respond. And so, what I'm hearing back from people, I'm trying to connect with people on LinkedIn, but no one's even responding. And then, when hmm. you do it the right way, I hear, oh, oh, I'm, people are getting back to me. So please do it the right way. That's a simple little tip I want to give. I know we're, we're under five minutes, and I did one under five. I feel pretty good about it. Well, I, another thing I want to say on that topic, Stephen, sometimes it didn't even have the person's name in it. Are you kidding me? Or they're sending from their wife's account or their husband's account, or it's, you know, um, Debbie loves the beach at, 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 at yahoo.com. It's like, <laughs> are you kidding me? You know, just make it, you know, <laughs> Stephen Key Design at Gmail. You can be a Gmail or it could be something, but um, and there's no signature. And it's just, it just immediately screams, I'm crazy, I'm unprofessional. Maybe not crazy, I'm just unprofessional. 
And I, I'm not somebody you want to work with. Yeah, and one other thing too, if you have, if you're working for a company and you have a professional site, that's one thing. And and if you want to do be a product developer that has nothing to do with your company, you, you might want to have two separate LinkedIn accounts if you can. Can you even do that, Andrew? I guess you can. Um, yeah, I, I don't know about having multiple LinkedIn accounts. Or, or, or if you're doing that, and the, and if your boss doesn't know, you might want to ask your boss. Because it's kind of crazy, you guys. Just do everything right, and, and try to be as polite as you can, and and don't don't rush. Don't be so impatient, Andrew. You, this thing about being impatient. I'm a pretty impatient guy too, and I know what it's like. You want to get your answers now, and and, and you you have more than one question, so you're going to have a lot. So so those don't, don't ask a lot from somebody. Build slow. Build a relationship, and do this other hint. First of all. If you're reaching out to anybody, if you like their product, tell them you like their product. Give them a little flattery. You buy their product, you really like it. Thank you very much. And by the way, flattery goes a long way. There you go. Good, good stuff, Stephen. If you guys like the show down below, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the show. Check out inventright.com. Learn about more about how Stephen and I and our coaches have been coaching and mentoring inventors for the last 15 years. And take care, keep inventing. We'll catch up with you on the next show. Bye-bye.